Okay, this is the next evaluation form tool we're going to work with. This is called Google Form. Um, this is a tool that's in Google Docs. So uh, if you are familiar with Google Docs, this is what your dashboard looks like. These are all of your documents. Um, you have the option of making uh, something similar to a Word document, uh, a presentation similar to PowerPoint, a spreadsheet like Excel, a form which is a survey which we're going to work on today, and also a drawing. So if I were to click on form, um, we would get a screen that looks like this. I'm not going to start from scratch because it would take a little take much too long to do that. So first thing we can do is change our theme if we wanted to. Um, there's a 50 or 60 different themes in here. Um, I just picked this book theme right here and I already put some questions in. So this is, this is basically what the final quiz will look like. Cleans it up a little bit. So I'm going to apply this and we're going to look at a question. We are going to title the test first and we can put, they leave a text box here to put some directions in if you want to give specific directions to the test. And the first question here, you have three options here. One is a edit button, the second is a duplicate button, and the last is a delete button if you wanted to trash a question. Uh, we're going to work with the edit button right now. So you'll see that there's a question title, helping text, and a question type. So let's look at the question type. You have the option of making a paragraph text question, or if they want to respond with a paragraph. Uh, multiple choice. We've got check boxes. We've got choose from a list, a scale, and we have a grid. So it's pretty varied. There's a lot of options here. For this one, I'm just going to leave this as a paragraph text. I want them just to leave one open ended question here. Um, the second one here will show you an example of a multiple choice question. So we just asked what was the capital of New Jersey. I listed this as multiple choice. And I listed a couple of different responses here. If you wanted to add more, you could or lessen it. Uh, you could also do that. So we're done with this. My last open ended question is down here. We don't need that anymore. I'm going to just show you how to delete that. Okay, so we have a two question quiz here or vocabulary test. And I'm going to save this once I'm done making any of my edits or changes. And I've got some other options up here. Um, embedding, if you wanted to embed this into a web page, you could do that. Um, we could see our responses, which we'll look at in a second. Or I could email this form to someone as well. If you had some type of group list uh, for your students that you want to email out the quiz to, you could do that. So we saved this. We're going to minimize this for a second. And let's look at the responses here. So we have a summary and we have our spreadsheet. First thing we're going to do is look at our spreadsheet. And I took this myself twice, so it timestamps both of these quizzes and it will give you the response that the person gave for each of the questions. So if you prefer to grade your test like this, you can. If you want to look at it in a spreadsheet, the nicer way to look at it here is if we go up to form, we're going to go to the live, sorry, we're going to go to the show summary of responses and it will tell you how many responses have been made. If you want to click on that, it'll go back and you could find out who actually took it. and it breaks each of the questions down into a graph. So we've got our first question, who was the first president of the United States? This was an open-ended response, so it'll just sort of list these out like this, but the second question was multiple choice, and um, we had two responses that were other. So if you can imagine doing this with a lesson, if you could whip this together really quick and have everyone in the computer lab and they could take this quiz pretty quickly. You could, you know, within five or ten minutes have a pretty good idea as to if the whole class is grasping an idea or not. If you want to get more specific and find out which individual students uh, are grasping this, you'd have to probably go back to, um, we'd want to go back to that spreadsheet form and take a look at that. 
something like here so we'd be able to see you know if we can imagine if I put a, a question before this and asked what was your name um, and we'd have the students names here and I could just sort of look through and see who got which questions right or wrong all right and if you want to share that okay we just click the share button we're gonna make the test public to the internet if we leave it private uh, no one would be able to view this quiz even if they had the link once they hit enter on this link in their browser it will come up and say you have you do not have access to this so we're gonna we're gonna make this public and we're gonna save it and here's the link that it makes so we're just gonna copy this and from that point you could either email that to your students you could post that on your class page um, you could make it a link uh, somewhere that students have access to on the internet um, that's pretty much it this is a really really nice again it's a nice formative assessment tool if you really quickly want to figure out who knows what um, the graph form of this is just really nice to look at and um, I wish you luck with it